What, can, can I go back to your, your story, which, you know, I, I so deeply appreciate and I think it is so relevant right now, you know, talking about, you know, kind of hitting bottom. And there are a lot of entrepreneurs and startups around the world right now who are feeling kind of bad, right? Like that, that entrepreneurial optimism is sort of, you know, because people are scared. And so what would your advice be? And I talk to startups all the time and a lot of founders right now are feeling that same pain that you felt um, when you, when you made the decision to turn your life around. Like, what is your, what is your advice? Yeah. I mean, my whole thing, you know, cause I, I actually coach 170 of the top B2B SaaS founders in my program, SaaS Academy. So click funnels, proposify, carrot.com, mostly bootstrap founders uh, all over the world. Every continent's covered at this point. And um, I'd been through it 2001. You know, I started in, in the internet in 97. So I went through the first dot com bubble 2008, went through that again. And then, so I can't, and, and personally, just I think if you build companies, you know, you'll literally come across company killing moments, you know, two or three times throughout the history of business. And that's, so it's never been, a, I've never been a stranger to those moments. Um, but what I did is I went to my, my, my uh, coaching clients and I said, look, first off, we have to pivot, okay? So here, here's probably the best analogy, Amy, that I think would help support everybody is, you know, I race cars. I race, I have a McLaren. Um, I'm a big fan of racing because to me, um, it's easy to go fast in a straight line. A great driver can go fast around a track, right? So it's, there's a lot of analogies, you know, where they talk about in the turn, you don't stare at where you don't want to go. You stare to where you want to go because the car is going to follow that input. Yeah. So, so what happened is as soon as the economy kind of goes into, you know, this crazy freeze, we have, it's like we're coming into the turn and the first thing we do is we get rid of our speed. So we brake and we brake in a straight line. We don't, so that's cutting expenses, right? That's cutting um, new projects, hiring freeze, et cetera. We want to dump our speed so that we can set ourselves up for the turn, but we got to do it in a way that we don't unsettle the car because if you turn when the car is unsettled, you'll slide off the track, right? It's really fascinating the aerodynamics involved. And to me, that's where we want to cut the fat and we want to maybe trim a little bit of the meat, but we don't want to accidentally hit the bone. And I think that, so you can cut too far because what we want to do is we want to get ready for the, the exit. So the second step is you then look into the apex. The apex is when we think we're at the bottom and we can kind of see through. The challenge with this turn in the economy is that we had no visibility into that. So we're, it's kind of like racing a car and doing a turn, but we're doing it blinded, right? So we don't have, it's like fog. What I've seen recently and I told my clients is like right size the business, look for the apex. And once we start to see something's there, which is happening right now, pretty much started last week, different parts of Canada where I'm at, San Diego where I live uh, in the winter months, like you start to see different parts opening up in the globe in general, okay? So then it's, then it's about getting ready to um, not only get to the apex, but then look for the exit and power on. So in racing, you literally full throttle out of the turn because you want to take advantage of the opportunity. So what I know going through this, you know, 2001, 2008, is that if you are strategic right now, in the next 16, 18 months, you will make, we create more wealth than you'll ever be able to in the rest of your life, period, full stop. It's, there is an opportunity for those that are willing. What does that mean? That means not complaining. That means getting up every morning and, and, and having structure. That means doing everything you possibly can to, to add value to your market. That means being really um, generous with your time serving your customers. It means literally leaning into this and deciding I am not going to participate in the downturn. I'm going to participate in the upside and believe that when there's no proof whatsoever that that's going to happen. So, I mean, Amy, I've been doing this for so long. And, and honestly, my, my, my story and the reason I share that at the beginning is to let people know that for pretty much two to three years, I had a belief in my capabilities that were not proven by any external factor, no validation, no reason for me to believe any of this. I don't know where that came from. Maybe it was the people that believed in me more than I believed in myself. But because I had that belief of what was possible, it's why the world that I live in today. So that's my message to everybody right now is we're now seeing the apex of this turn. Everybody that's ready to connect to that apex and look for the exit and the economy starts to come back and you step on the gas and take advantage of it, um, you will you will create more economic value for your life than any other period in the future because I don't think we could ever get worse than what we like. Literally, 
it's crazy to even talk about what we're going through right now. Like the whole world, it's just, it's just, it's like a movie. Like it doesn't make sense. It's not a real estate crash or a dot com boom. Like those things I can kind of see. But so, but the thing is, is you got to believe in yourself when there's no proof externally. And the only way that you can get through it is to control the variables that you have control over. Yeah. And for everybody watching that is literally your habits, your morning routine, your conversation, consuming news or not. I've never like new, the news thing, right? People are like, oh, you got to be informed. Look, I can call my friend Marty and within six minutes, he'll tell me everything I need to know about the world. And he'll have me sit there and watch three hours of news. I have never watched the news and turned to my wife and said, I feel better about the world today now that I've watched that. That's never so, happened. Don't don't feed your mind bad information. Like to me, I'm just there's so much personal development in this that's allowed me to to really get ready. And look, it's bad, and there's real human lives at risk and, and people dying. But that doesn't discount the fact that if we're talking a business context, there's more capital in the market available. There's more reason. Like hiring right now is amazing. I literally. The people I'm getting 30, 40% cheaper, calibers higher, and four times the volume of applicants. I mean, that's never gonna happen for me again in my career. So I'm like, I'm all in.